"'Twas the night before Vlogmas, when all through the house, not a puppy was stirring, not even a mouse. Cameras were charged by the outlets with care, burnout looming above us. Help me, I'm scared. The puppies were resting, cookies baking in the oven. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. As the night winds down, we snuggle up in bed. As the worries of Vlogmas begin to haunt Remy's head. All right, Rem. It's your 10th year of Vlogmas. You ready? I don't know. I just keep feeling like something's gonna go wrong. You'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay, so I am going to currently get ready while I chat with you guys, but oh my god, I cannot believe that this is, it's Vlogmas day one. This is my 10th year of Vlogmas. I hope you guys like the intro. We decided to go a little bit more high production this year because obviously it's my 10th year. I wanted to do something a little special. Please don't judge my acting skills. I never said I was an actress. I've never participated in acting because I know my strengths and I know my weaknesses. Acting is not one, but again, I just wanted to do something fun and cute. But yes, good morning. Actually, I have a little bit of a twist on this year's Vlogmas, and I'm not sure how long this Vlogmas day one is going to be, but knowing me, it's probably going to be like 45 minutes long. Obviously, with vlogging, it's daily vlogging, so I vlog one day and I post the next. I vlog one day, I post the next. Currently, today, it is not December 1st, and I'm posting it on December 2nd. It is actually November 28th, and I'm doing this year's Vlogmas day one a little bit different. Side note, I'm going to try out this new sunscreen that I saw on TikTok. It's called Beauty of jo Joseon. I'm not sure, but I heard good things and I needed a new SPF. Yes, so the reason why I'm vlogging today and you're seeing this on December 2nd is Hal and I are about to go on a brand trip together. I am so, 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 so excited. I have so much to talk to you guys about actually. Oh my God, this is gonna be such a long vlog, but it's gonna be jam packed. I promise, stay tuned. It's gonna be a really fun vlog. Today, Cal and I are leaving on a brand trip with The Knot, which if you guys are engaged or you've been married or if you're wedding planning, it's fantastic. They're amazing. They have so many awesome things to help you out with your wedding planning journey or just your wedding journey in general from helping with vendors to like locations and I'll give you a wedding planning update soon sorry I'm trying to find my primer where did she go so we're leaving today which is Tuesday the 28th and then we're coming back on Friday the 1st which is normally when I would start vlogmas <gasps> hi baby thank you so much Say hi to the vlog. Hi vlog. <laughs> Ooh, thank you, it's perfect. Yes, obviously I wanted to vlog the trip for you guys, but just with the Vlogmas schedule and with other vlogs that I need to put up, I don't have time before I need to get on track with Vlogmas things. So I've decided to make Vlogmas Day 1 a culmination of the whole brand trip, as well as actual Vlogmas Day 1. And now let's get into the wedding planning of it all. By the way, I got my ring back. It's resized, it fits me perfectly. I waited like three weeks for my ring to be resized and I missed her so much. As you guys know, Cal and I got engaged a few months ago and it's been such an amazing time of just enjoying engagement bliss and we still don't want to get married for you know a good amount of time we're not gonna get married I think until like honestly we have not set a date we've like barely done anything we've just scratched the surface of wedding planning we're thinking sometime definitely in 2025 but we're kind of really open to be honest and when we got engaged we were like oh my gosh we have so much time I didn't even want to start thinking about wedding planning until like honestly later into next year but I 
talked about this on a couple podcasts, me being a planner, I just started kind of looking into the wedding industry, just like looking into a few things just to make sure that I wasn't gonna be too behind. And I honestly wanted to wait until like the latest possible time that I could to get started. And through my research, I learned a few things. A, obviously because of COVID, a lot of brides had to push back their weddings. I had some friends that had to push back their weddings, not only once, but twice because of the pandemic. And because of that, a lot of venues are already super booked. I inquired about one venue that I just like kind of liked online. I just wanted to see what their options were. And they were pretty much all booked out for 2025. They had one weekend in April and one weekend in May. And I was like, that's far too soon. I'm not committing to that. And then on top of that, I've learned that with the wedding industry, every year things get more and more and more expensive. So most likely something in December will actually be less expensive than if I were to book it in January, which again, is just crazy. All of that to say that we are starting our wedding planning journey a lot earlier than we had normally anticipated. I know a lot of you guys are living for the wedding content. So if you guys like that, this is gonna be an exciting time for you because we are obviously going on this trip to learn about wedding planning. I don't even know where to begin. I don't know how to do anything. So I'm really, really excited. I'm gonna be taking so many notes this whole week and I'm super excited to learn things and I'll share them with you guys if you wanna know. And if you don't like wedding planning, I totally understand. This vlogmas might not be the best vlogmas for you. So yes, we are still very early on in our wedding planning journey. The wedding won't be coming for a while, but I wanna start at least looking for venues sometime soon and lock that in because obviously that's like kind of the most important thing right now. And then I can make all other decisions, dress, florals, everything else like a year out or like less than a year out. So yes, I'm so excited to bring you guys along on that journey. Whoa, that was a lot of blush. Today I am up and I'm getting ready because before we leave for the brand trip, I have a lot of work stuff I need to get done. And then the themes for the brand trip are definitely outside of my comfort zone, but I really try to throw some cute outfits together and I think you guys are gonna like them. So I'll keep you updated later. Let me finish my makeup, get to filming and I'll see you very soon. Vlogmas day one. Okay guys, hair is done. This is the first time I've personally styled the new hair length that I think it looks really cute. I'm so glad you guys are liking it too. I've been getting so many comments of people saying like, this is the length for you, which I mean, it was just truly the length of hair that I had grown myself, but thank you so much. Good job hair. Got her. Hello guys. I just tried the new Shea Mitchell Air One smoothie for my main channel. Also, when I was checking out at the cash register, the lady said she loved my sweatshirt. She was like, oh, I love your sweatshirt. That's such a good reminder. We do need to take care of ourselves. It was so sweet. Tonight, da, da, da. I don't care what's wrong or right. Okay, hello guys, I'm home. I have about five minutes before I need to run out the door and head out on this trip. I need to change, zip up the suitcases, and then go. So I got the theme nights and like outfit inspiration little PDF file for this trip. And I have to say, it is pretty out of my comfort zone, but I tried really hard to pull some cute outfits together that I really think you guys are gonna like. To be honest, this is pretty much what I wear on an everyday basis, just leggings and a sweatshirt, but I really think I stepped the looks out for this trip. So let me just change and I'll show you guys what my outfit is to go on the train. We're taking the train from LA to Santa Barbara. And the theme for the train ride is equestrian chic, or it was like equestrian chic. It was like neutrals and denim. And I think I did a good job. So let me show you. Okay, here is the outfit. It's not super equestrian, but it's like as equestrian chic as I could get, but still stayed neutral and followed the theme. Please don't mind my pajamas on the floor. It's this really cute little sweater dress situation. It's got these cute little pockets on the front, a little zip up, and then it is all like one piece. So it goes down to like a skirt on the bottom. I'm wearing my Vince Camuto extra wide calf boots. Love them so much. They're like a little cream color. And then it's really hot in LA, but it's gonna be cold there. And also this just didn't fit my suitcase. So I'm gonna bring it to sit with on the train. Oh, so cute. Okay, it's this nude trench from Abercrombie. I love this so much. I'm bringing Miss Bianca with us because she fits the theme. Oh my God, it's so cute. Not super normal Remy fashion, but I love it. I feel elevated and I feel chic and I love it. So that is my look. We're gonna jump in the car and head down to the train station. So let's. Let's go. We have arrived. Are you ready? I'm ready. How was your nap? It was nice. Did Beautiful. you vlog me? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you were sleeping like this. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Look who's here. Look at this jacket. Is I'm it Ugg? my whole lorisy into this style guide this I week. I love it. No, literally say I tell my <laughs> tell my vlog. Look at Cal. Cal's cute outfit. Hey guys, we're on the train. We all got these cute little picnic baskets. We got a little name tag. Oh, cute. I've actually always wanted a picnic set. Oh my god. Wait, this is so, so cute. cute. And they gave 
give Laura a little cupcake without almonds because it was such she's a got an almond allergy. Here. There's more? There's a charcuterie. Oh, a charcuterie. Oh, oh, oh my god, wait, this is so sweet. Oh, this is so nice, you guys. Oh my oh, god. So also, oh, Sierra and May May are here. Yay! So and Laura. She's got our palms read and a tarot card reading on the train. And now I'm doing some editing. But look at this beautiful view. This is so romantic. <laughs> so romantic. Too bad all the boys are over there. This one's for the girls. Yes. This is like girlies only. <laughs> this is so it's pretty. For the girls. Hello, guys. Okay, we just got to the room. We had like a medium long travel day. We had like a two and a half, three hour train ride, and then like an hour long bus ride. We just got to the hotel, and it's so beautiful here. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous resort. I'll show you guys more in the morning, but we have like 45 minutes or so, and then we need to head over to the welcome reception situation. But let me give you a little room tour before it gets really messy. I also got two vlogs done on the train, so I'm feeling productive. Yay! Actually, you know what? Cal's in the bathroom. Let me wait till he's done, and then I'll have him film it crib style. What'd you say, baby? No, no, I'm gonna wait for you to film me. <laughs> okay. My videographer is out of the bathroom. Come on, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Quickly. We've got door here. Fire extinguisher also here. Come this way. We've got a full length mirror. Boom. Check yourself out. Then we've got the bathroom here. Cal just blew it up. No, I didn't. <laughs> we got a shower. This shower looks amazing. I want a hot shower so badly. And we have the mirror situation here where we'll get ready in the morning. The hair is looking a little flat. I need to give it a little zhuzh, but I very much like the length. Do you, sir? Yes, Thank absolutely. You. We got robes and slippers. Cal's gonna put that on and drink coffee outside tomorrow. I already know it. Come on. Yes, I am. The bedroom. <laughs> Stunning, where the magic happens. Yes. We've got a little closet here. Very nice. Very nice. We've got the coffee machine. They already filled it with water for us. We got tea, Cal. We got, thank you, babe. Boom, look Great at all job. that. We've got a speaker and cookies, Cal. <gasps> cookies. <gasps> Someone ate half of one. Who did that? <laughs> here, try it, it's good. Okay. It's a lace cookie. Have you ever had one? Mm -mm. They're so good. Okay. Yummy. <gasps> charging thingy. Very nice. And then over here, we've got our dresser. We were given this gorgeous bag from the knot and some hats, some keychains. They gave us soccer beat candy, which is a Swedish candy store. And I literally go there to buy my uncle specialty candies. They gave it to us, which is so exciting because it's so good. And Swedish candy, I think is better than American candy. And that's the tour. And look at Kel's hat. <laughs> Thanks, the knot. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get ready for the party. Or actually, I'm gonna sit, do a little work, and then get ready for the party. And I'm gonna call it an early night because I am so tired today. But let's go, babe. Let's go. Hi, guys. Okay, it's like 30 minutes later. I got a little bit more editing done. I'm trying to catch up on my editing before Vlogmas begins. I'm feeling a little stressed, but I am dressed to go to the little welcome party. And the theme is like denim. It's like bold prints. Bold prints, like a Western feel. So we kind of wore what we had already. This dress is from Retrofet. I think I bought this actually to wear to pop possibly to the Aero store, or no, I think I bought it possibly for Coachella, but I didn't wear it there, so I thought it'd be cute for tonight. And then to match the kind of like Western-y theme, I'm just wearing these little uh, knee-high white snakeskin boots. And then Cal, what are you wearing? A black overcoat with white and black bold printy shirt. Very cute. Black pants. Black pants and Converse. Nude shoes, there we go. And then it's really cold out, so I'm gonna throw my little coat on top. The coat doesn't really match the vibe, but I'd rather be warm and not quite be on theme than be freezing. So this is the look. All right, let's go. First to the event. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Got a little honey vodka drink. Cal hitting up that vegetable platter. How beautiful is this hotel? Are you kidding me? Ooh, very healthy. Yum. Cheers, my Great. love. Cheers. We are arriving to dinner. How stunning is this? Oh my goodness. They got lights and cameras. They got it all. We're at dinner. Look how beautiful this menu is. I am so hungry. They're making seafood paella outside. That's what I smell. Oh my gosh. I gotta go get a clip of it actually outside. It's crazy. Mm. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wow. Good morning guys welcome to day one of the official brand trip with the knot we woke up we had a nice slow morning in we're about to have some breakfast and then we got to get ready and we have a full day of activities we got this big schedule of things to do we have a lot of workshops today learning about how to plan your wedding but let me show you what we got for breakfast yum we got avocado toast okay i got some eggs for us to share some eggs oh, and then some chia seed pudding and then i got a matcha latte or no matcha latte almond milk latte <gasps> i can't wait 
This toast looks amazing. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Breakfast was amazing. This is outfit for day one. I'll do a full outfit of the day later, but Cal looks so cute. Thank you. But I love this coat that I'm wearing because it's nice and chilly out. I'll show you guys a full thing very soon. Also, now I can show you the hotel in the daylight. How stunning is this? They've got so many florals over there. We're going to the barn for our little session. It's so pretty and Cal looks so handsome. Thank oh my you. God, I just did the influencer voice. So pretty. My bad. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness. Also, we didn't get the text that, I didn't check my phone because I was too busy rushing to get ready. We didn't get the text that they're starting late, so now we're just the first ones here. Yeah. What <laughs> okay. are we wearing today, Ram? Outfit of the day. My black long sleeve bodysuit is from Aritzia. My little blue silk skirt is from Revolve. And then my boots are Vince Camuto. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My jacket is Show Me Your Moo Moo. I love this. I think this is going to be my new go-to winter jacket. And then my little bow is from Amazon, I think. I think it's from Amazon. That's the look. Okay, now Cal has to go because he looks so handsome. I have to. You have to. Swap with me, my love. I'm wearing a blue sweater collar thing from yes. the Oody. Yes. I don't remember where these are from. I think they're Zara. Very nice. And then Tommy Hilfiger shoes yes and ray-bans and yeah. the event planner saw his outfit and was like you look good he styled himself well yes you did say i look good i look good yes you do look who just arrived you guys look beautiful look at these gorgeous look at cal's color blocking fabulous i cannot get over these florals oh I want to be front row. Actually, no, I don't want to be front row. I'll be in the back. <laughs> so I think this is something that is really interesting and I think as you broach your wedding, it's super important to talk about a guest count. And I think a lot of times, especially with all of you, and you all have so many relationships and your network is so vital, I think taking the time to purge out all of the people that you think are special enough to even consider. And then you can do a two to three tier system, which will super help you in the long run where Maybe you have like 300 people and you're like, hey, this is, you know, the coworker that I feel like I have to invite to be politically, whatever. I think then you can just do it in phases. So you do the first batch that goes out, find out if you have some rejection, and then being able to do the second tier. You just never let the second and third tier know that you're the third tier. Um, that's a really great way. And I think a lot of times people forget to, there's excitement of including everybody, is that every single person does have a dollar sign next to them in a way where each time you add an additional person that is an uh, additional chair, additional tabletop setting, an additional floral on the centerpiece. And so those are the ways that you want to be mindful of your budget um, or if you're being conscious of a budget. Our own infused olive oil. Yes, we are. I have my bottle. What are you going to do, babe? I have no idea. I'm going to do rosemary <laughs> and wash it. <laughs> Hi! It smells so good. Also, rosemary is something that I hated for so long and now I like. How do you get in there? Garlic, and I'm shoving it in now. I want to There we go. Did a little grapefruit yeah. twist. Now we're going to fill her with some oil. Look at that pretty little spiral in there. <laughs> olive oil. <laughs> oh, wow. Not yeah. myself, perfect. <laughs> like, perfect. Pretty. Yeah, don't forget to tie your tag on, too. Okay. All right, we have a demonstration. Let's see your cow. Oh, there yeah. we go. Look at oh, that. yeah. There. Okay, we're seated at lunch. Look at this beautiful veggie sandwich. Chicken Stunning. Yeah, I love a good, the, the flower on top, you know it's gonna be good. We're in a little bit of a workshop right now. We're starting with the music session, which is Cal's specialty. And we have our names and wedding venue, N.A. Anything wedding, N.A. And then the recessional is gonna be when, you know, kiss. And so this is, I feel like these are really, stuff you really have to know right or wrong. Right. There are things, you know, that should be totally in your vision. That you <laughs> my body's moving, why is my body moving? <laughs> Maybe I should have got some wine, honestly. We're doing a dance class, guys. This is gonna be great. Now, so we also don't look like we're at an eighth grade school yet. Get closer. Okay. Yeah. 
feel that way. I need to see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, I need to see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. Okay, I need to see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I need to see it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, I need to see it. Three, four, we're doing a little rainbow moment. That's kind of beautiful. Put in there so I love the yellow yeah, and the eucalyptus. I am doing my best. It's really pretty. All right, we have chosen our scents and we have yes. named our candles. I named mine Bubblegum Princess because it smells like a bubblegum princess. Cal, what did you name yours? I named mine Zac Efron because it smells like Zac Efron from High School Musical 2. You gotta write HSM2 on there. No, uh, this is all you need. This is all you need right here. Zac Efron. Boom, it's bold, it's interesting, it's intriguing. People ask questions. Why'd you name it that? Where are you gonna put it? You should put it in the main bathroom so everyone sees it. Yes. <laughs> you guys wanna see Jacobs? Yes. Oh my god, I wanna see Jacobs. Yes. Mine is called Just Like Cow. Just like Cow. <laughs> it just smells just, just like, like cow. cow. Okay guys, we're back in the room. We had like 30 minutes to rest for a little bit and then now we're going to dinner. It's been a very jam-packed day, but seriously, we're learning so much about mm -hmm. wedding planning in general. Again, as I said, Cal and I have started literally nothing. We're still working on yeah. even just like finding a planner, but we've learned so much today. And also I know a lot of you guys are also probably in the middle of wedding planning or about to start, or maybe you could refer back to this video. And I feel you if you feel uh, you know, nervous or overwhelmed, or you just don't even know where to start because I feel the exact same way right now, but this has truly been very eye-opening. So I also wanna share with you guys all the stuff that we've gotten today or things that we've learned so that, you know, if you need help, just like me, I can help you. Before that though, I wanna show you what we're wearing for dinner. The theme for dinner was florals. It is really cold outside, so I'm gonna wear this dress that is from Danielle Guizio. So cute. I know I'm gonna wear this a ton even after tonight. My hair is just up in a little half up, half down. And then I was gonna wear heels, but I found out that it's dinner and like walking around the town. So I think I'm gonna wear boots. But while I get my boots, you show them your outfit because Cal looks so good. Thank and Cal styled himself this entire trip. <laughs> and everyone keeps saying how good you look. Seriously. One of the wedding planners, you walked away, one of the wedding planners was like, his outfit is so good. I was like, he did it himself. <laughs> Okay, you do that. Yeah. BRB. I have a nice little, what is it, like maroon burgundy jacket from Michael Kors. And then two, like the top, it's like the cocktail top from, I think it's Abercrombie and Fitch. And so are these brown pants with my Converse from Kith. And a chain that Remy got me, the Ventmont one. Boom. Okay. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so obviously there's a big slit, so I'm hoping these boots look cute with the dress because they're really comfy. Ah, toe cramp, ow. If I'm gonna walk around, obviously I wanna be comfy. Does it look cute or does it look dumb? Oh, I think it's actually kind of cute. I mean, it's gonna have to do because I can't wear my little heels that I brought. Uh, and I'm gonna wear my Abercrombie coat again because again, it's just so cold outside. I was thinking of maybe changing my earrings. I have obviously like the half and half down so those could be cute. I brought these little Bottega dupes from Amazon. Do we think these are cute, babe? Hmm. I, I don't like think those. I like them. You like them? Yeah. We could do a hoop. Ooh, I like the little diamond hoops. Fun. Let me pop these out real fast. Okay, so earlier we broke into little small groups and Lauren, Sierra, and I all got to be together with Jeremy, Sam, and Cal, which was so much fun. And we got to meet with a couple wedding planners and just like ask questions. It was really interesting listening to Lauren and Sierra's plans for their weddings and like what they've learned along the way again because Cal and I obviously haven't started. Also, I love that all of the OG YouTube lifestyle girlies are getting engaged and getting married at the same time where a lot of us are because it's really fun to experience this together. Obviously, we've all been friends for like such a long time. So it's, it's really, really, really cool. And the planners that we got matched up with are called 
Alicia and & Co. And so if you guys are looking for planners, we really liked them, they were so nice. And they gave us this really awesome list, which I'm gonna show you. And if anybody is wedding planning, feel free to screenshot and look at this. If you wanna keep this for later, it's basically like a checklist or a timeline, which I didn't know any of this stuff, like how far out you are from the wedding and what you wanna be doing. So like, you know, the year before you wanna work out your budget, hire a planner, or these are just options obviously, but things that you might wanna do that might help you. You obviously don't need a planner, you don't need to do any of this stuff, but um, you know, like eight months before, book the DJ, four months before, you know, start your playlist. So that's the front page and then this is the back page. So please feel free to screenshot if you guys want. I feel like this is really awesome information to get. We got the bag and we're ready to go. Let's go. We're gonna show PDA. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna kiss you for real. You were too slow. Quick. <laughs> oh, I didn't even tell you guys where we're at. So we came to the town of Solvang for the night and it looks beautiful here. Are you having fun, babe? I'm having a great time. Good. Are you having fun, Laura? Hi, Remy. Are you having fun, Jeremy? I'm having fun. Ram life. Ram life. Ram life. Vlogmas. 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 Look at this beautiful cake. She's a star. Everyone's taking her photo. Everyone's lining up. This is so stunning. I know. What'd you say? I love this little town. It's like right up my alley. This is crazy. Like, yeah. You guys, wait, like the dinner's in the middle of the actual town. They've got like a Christmas store here. There's a bakery right there. This is honestly one of the coolest things that I've ever done before. This is crazy. Hello guys. It is the next day or AKA day two kind of day three of the trip. Good morning, I am up. I just did my makeup. I'm about to do my hair. Cal brought me some breakfast. They did like a little grab and go situation, but there was like yogurt. He got me some potatoes, turkey bacon, eggs. It's all really good. I'm in the middle of eating that and then I'm gonna finish my hair. And then today is a much more chill day, but yesterday was so much fun. Truly, this is like maybe one of my favorite brand trips I've ever been on because it's just so fun being here with obviously my friends and also their significant others being here with Cal all of us bonding. We have a photo shoot in like 15 minutes or so and these photos are gonna go in the Not Magazine, which is super exciting. So we were told to just dress in like an outfit that we feel the most comfortable, that expresses ourselves. And to be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna wear. I brought a bunch of different options, but we need to leave in like 30 minutes or so. So I gotta do my hair, but luckily now that it's short, it takes like no time. So I'm just going to blow dry, add some curls in, and then I will pick out an outfit with you guys. Give me one sec. Updates, I ended up going with the first thing that I tried on. I think this is so cute. It's giving kind of witch, but I feel very comfortable. I still feel like it's very me. It is very much giving witch. Ollie would definitely approve of this. It's this cute dress from LPA that has buttons all the way up and all the way down. So you can like control how big of a slit you want in the bottom or how much you want in the top. So I went for a little bit in the top and I left it open so you can see my boots underneath. Cute, I think it's good for fall winter vibes. I will say I wonder if everybody else is gonna give like bridal. I brought some white dresses, but I just feel more comfortable in this and they said to just wear whatever you feel comfortable in. So I'm gonna wear this. All the white dresses that I brought, if I breathe too heavily, a boob pops out and we can't have that for the magazine. So we're going with this and I feel cute. Let's go. And I love the hair with all these outfits. I just think it's perfect now. That's what I love about this whole thing. <laughs> You're like, I can at least so coach easy. it, yeah, you know? Yeah, I don't know about experts, but thank you. <laughs> that beautiful, look in here. Awesome. And you're looking over. Yeah. Oh, this is great. For a kiss. Hold that there. And then back over here. Okay, let's Such a good up shot. Yeah. Such a good shot. First kiss ever. First kiss, First kiss ever. ever. Oh, thank you guys so much. Thank Welcome. you. Thank you so much. That was so quick so and fun. Kill the crush it. All right, All right. Thank phone. You. Thank camera. you so much. Uh, Hi guys. Okay, we finished our photo shoot. We were the second couple of nine, so we went pretty early, but that means we get a lot of free time now. We have like three hours or so before we are all meeting up to go do the group photo with everybody. So we came back, I put on comfy clothes and I have a lot of work to get done. Kyle's waving at me. You guys, he's so cute. I know he like really feels uncomfortable in photo shoots, but I appreciate that he 
participates and that he also just like does his best like it means the world to me but yes we're just chilling back at the room we got a coffee on the way back so good i got an iced almond milk latte i have a lot of work to do i have to start editing this vlog so it can go up on time for vlogmas and i have a vlog that's going up tomorrow too so i've got a lot to do i gotta do the thumbnail and schedule everything reply to comments and i was gonna sit and do work in bed but then i realized we've got this stunning patio area for us here how beautiful is this and i mean there's obviously a beautiful bonfire i think you can just turn it on and we have fire all right i'm gonna sit here in my lightly damp seat get some editing done sit by the fire see you soon the sun is fully out i had to turn off the bonfire and put a sports bra on because i started to sweat there's honestly i could move to the shade i just was too lazy to but look what cal just got i made it myself you made it yourself no, really? <laughs> Little hall babe little lunch boxes Oh, a turkey sandwich. Turkey sandwich. Yeah. With, you love a turkey sandwich. Looks like some veggies in here. Ooh, a little pickled veg. A little macaroni salad. How nice. Hell yeah. Yeah, All there right. you go. I'm going to finish my vlog and then I'm going to eat that. Yeah, eat that. Eat Ooh, that. Ooh, chocolate covered almonds. Or cashews. Nice. Please look at this sandwich. My goodness. The bread is beautiful. I think this is probably a focaccia bread. And there's like a cranberry relish on there. We've got mayo, arugula, turkey. You guys know I love cranberry on anything. That is so good. Back in the outfits, now we're taking the big group photo. I changed. Cal had a little outfit change, yes. I'm wearing the same thing as before. Woo. Should I not be doing that? No, you look great. Okay. We're on our second coffee of the day. We're starting to get a little sleepy. We came to this beautiful winery. Look at this Christmassy vibe we got going on. We've got all these cute little wine stoppers. Oh wait, I think you pour it out of here, right Cal? What? They're like little holes. I think you put it in the top and it pours the wine out. Oh yeah. Wait. Yeah, that's what those do, yeah. That's cool. That's cool. This is where we're taking our group photo. It's so beautiful. We're doing a wine tasting now. My job is to share a little bit about the Hi guys, okay, we came back to the room, we had a couple hours, just chilled, hung out for a little bit, and we just got ready for the last dinner of the trip, and the theme was like jewel tones and sequins and bright colors and things, and so we're going to do a little outfit of the night, our last of the trip. We're going to come home tonight, pack, and then leave in the morning. This has been such a fun trip, but... Do you want to go first, babe? You look so cute. We look very holiday. We didn't mean to, but like it's perfect. I don't know where any of this stuff's from. Okay. But I'm wearing this ble these black pants all trip, basically. Black jacket, red shirt. Gorgeous. I am wearing this beautiful green, emerald green sequin gown that's from the Remy, not Remy Cruz, the Remy Bader and Revolve collection. It's so cute. It's this like green sequin number it's got this little it's like a one shoulder situation here it is a little one shoulder situation but it's gonna be so cold so i'm gonna wear the jacket on top this jacket's also from revolve it is the uh brand show me your moo moo for the hair i do feel like i should have done like a slick back or something but i'm just going to leave it down thanks babe i kind of ran out of time and then the shoes are my birthday gifts that i got from alicia they're my oh my god oops my Louboutins, and that is the look. Let's go to dinner. Oh, also, I didn't even say, I couldn't find my vlog camera for a little while, and I was freaking out, and then Cal ran on the bus. I left you guys on the bus. Thank God you were still there, and thank God we were taking the same bus to dinner, so happy to see you guys again. That would have been so bad for Vlogmas. Thank you so much. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow. They have deviled eggs, and if there's one thing about me, I'm gonna fuck up a deviled egg. <laughs> the way people are taking like beautiful photos in front of this floral, gorgeous, fake venue. And I'm here downing deviled eggs. You guys, there's a seafood station. Oh my god, they have Santa Barbara uni I've and oysters. Never seen one so big They're before. massive. I would eat all of those, but I've I won't. Shrimp cocktail like fresh, and some scallops, I think. There's a whole thing of caviar over there. Wow. This is amazing. My very first time trying caviar, and it's got. Cheers, cheers. Sime and I are doing a taste test. Here we go. Mm. I don't normally like caviar, but that was really good. I think I love caviar now. That was so good. Oh my god, it's a big one. A little fish rub. Yes, yes. I'm scared. Mm. Oh 
Oh my god, it's so good. Did you try it? No, I was scared. Oh, I've never had it before. It's really good. It's, how do I need to eat this for my life? <laughs> yeah. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the way everyone's inside and we're all at the seafood bar just before. <laughs> It's so good. Oh my god, the doors just open, you guys, and look at this view. This is unreal. Hey guys, dinner just ended. It was fantastic. And then all of a sudden, these doors flung open, and there is a snowy winter wonderland outside. It's it's like, actually, it's fake snow, but it's snowing. This is beyond. Please look at this. Oh my, this is amazing. Are you kidding me? This is beyond. Oh my god, this is crazy. It is Friday. The trip has come to an end. This has been so much fun. What do you think, babe? It was a great time. Now I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> Cal's social battery is drained. Yeah. We made so many new friends. We learned so much. Truly, I told you guys before we came here, I've been feeling really nervous and also like very chill, but like very, I don't know. The wedding has not been on my brain at all. And granted, we just got <laughs> engaged a few months ago. I was very much wanting to procrastinate everything. And I don't know. I was just in a weird mood, but this has really gotten me excited. If any of you guys feel the same way, I feel you, but I feel like I learned so much. We're still again not getting married for a while but it was really fun to hear so many other couples and their plans everybody on this trip had started significantly more than we had if not like already had everything planned so it was fun hearing everything and yeah overall it was just amazing thank you so much again to the knot for having us if you guys are engaged you're getting married you're planning a wedding check out the knot vendor marketplace truly if you guys need vendors for literally anything i love you guys and we're gonna head home and we will see you guys when we get there my new merch has arrived <laughs> so I need to get home and shoot that and I'm so excited. Bye! Bye. <laughs> and just like that, we are back home! Yay! We're back home with the pups. We're all so happy to be reunited. We literally just walked in the door and I have something so exciting to look at with you guys. I have here my final merch samples. Okay, I cannot wait to look at these together. These are with all the modifications that I told you guys that we were making by making it longer, making designs bigger, moving them around, changing the colors a bit. Here is the final merch. Oh, I love it. Oh my God, okay. So this is the nude colorway and it's got a baby pink heart that says take care of yourself. And on the back, here is the back design. I love it so much, you guys. These are so comfy. Cal, will you try one on with me? Guys, they're seriously like so well made. Here is the black with the blue design that says happy to be here. If you guys know, that's like my motto. I say it all the time because I'm truly just happy and grateful to be anywhere. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with them. Okay, Cal's gonna try one on. I'm gonna try the other one on. You guys can see how they fit on both of us. I'm 5'3". And usually I wear like a large or an extra large or honestly if I want it really oversized like a 2XL in sweatshirts and Cal is 6'4 and you wear normally like a men's extra large would you mm -hmm. say? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna try them on to show you. And they're both the same exact size. They're like one size fits all. Oh cute! It looks good on you. What does it say? It says happy to be here. Oh cool. Isn't that cute? Yeah. Oh my god I love it. It's so comfy and weighted and I love the sleeves you guys. Oh I'm so happy! I'm it happy. So good. It's good. I'm gonna look a little bit more meticulously and see if there's any other changes I want to make. But at first glance, I believe these are approved. Now let's swap. Hell yeah! So cute. Anyways, as I told you guys, we just walked in the door back to the house, and Wit will be here in like 20 minutes. I have to record some pretty basic ads, and then we're gonna go out and shoot the final samples because I want to launch this for you guys in the next couple of days so that you can hopefully get it by Christmas. Obviously with holiday tracking and holiday shipping, things are always taking a lot longer than when they normally would, but if I launch it sooner for you guys, then you guys will most likely be able to get them before Christmas and for the holiday season, so I am working my butt off today for you guys, so I'm gonna do that shoot the merch, and then rest tonight because this has been a very jam-packed few days. Miss Witt is here. Hello. And Cal just came home. He went to go run an errand, and I, I thought his errand was picking up Taco Bell for himself. <laughs> but Which was part of it. That was part of it, but he was gone for a long time, and then he just came home, and what are you doing, babe? I'm making a little Christmas bouquet from Vlogmas Day 1. <laughs> 
Wit always tells me the cutest thing. Yeah. She always says that like she watches us as an inspiration for love. I know, because my parents are Hot Mess Express, and I never had Don't say that on the no, internet! Not, I know, I'll say it, they know. I tell them that to, uh, to in person. Aww. Um, and so I've never really had like a positive viewpoint of a couple because they're divorced. So it's nice, it's healing my inner child. <laughs> Make a bouquet for wit too, <laughs> That's so sweet, thank you so I'm much. Good. He's using his um, expertise that we learned at The Knot. I already know how to do that. Oh, you already knew. Really? Yeah. I did it. Yeah, I've done this before. <laughs> oh! Plenty of times. We're working on the intro. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. <laughs> as the night winds down, we snuggle up in Noonies. bed. As the worries of Vlogmas. Come on, Cal. Remy's Give dead. us that line. <laughs> All right, Rem. <laughs> we have come to shoot the merch in the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, where I spend a lot of my time, honestly. We're just doing a little shoot. Oh. People are staring. I'm gonna turn you off, hold on. Okay, we shot the merch in the produce section, which I know is random, but it's cute and colorful, and then now, it is realistic. <laughs> I just need to get some groceries. I mean, obviously we just traveled, so I mean, we need a few things anyways, and then also we're getting a prop for the actual shoot. Hey. So, let's Scrappy. do it. Scrappy. <laughs> I know normally for merch shoots, we do like a big thing with Jesse and all these people and all the hair and the makeup. Simply no, I did my makeup in the car on the way home and we are at the grocery store with Wit and an iPhone. We're looking for our prop, which is a cute little basket. <gasps> and they've got all the holiday stuff out. Thank you, Miss Queen. Welcome. All right, they have, oh my God, the peppermint bark snowman from Ghirardelli. Yeah. Wit is coming to Christmas at my house and I think that we need to put the butter trees out for when we do the bread rolls. Yes! Oh, I see now. <laughs> We're gonna go all out. The two of us are gonna go crazy it's for Christmas dinner. <laughs> oh my gosh. We also have turkey ones. <gasps> they sell out? Yeah. Okay, wait, thank you so Those much. Oh, we're good till May. Okay, <gasps> we were told that they sell out really quickly, so to buy them now, we're gonna get them now. Oh my god, <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> thank you. I'm getting a bone broth, because I'm gonna make soup. <laughs> Come to Home Goods because we are filming a Cooking with Remy on Monday, the Christmas special, and we wanted to look at, you know, different, like, serveware and things for that episode, but there's no Christmas stuff here. It's December 1st. Where's all the Christmas stuff? I'm confused. I feel like I'm being pumped. Like this is so weird. There's like we have there's literally it. yeah. There's not a single Christmas thing. I, I don't know what's happening. I'm We're gonna find it. Yeah. This is all the Christmas decor. We can't find the Christmas food stuff. Oh, is it over there? Maybe these are like little stuffed animals. Like if you look at this little bow, a little dumpling or maybe a yeah shalong bow. Little heatable moment. Okay, we found the extent of the collection. But this is like all baking stuff. I, we were looking for like. Platters? What about Miss Ray Dunn right here? I do love Miss Ray Dunn. Oh, sweet, no. Hello, everybody. Okay, so I think I last talked to you at Home Goods. I'm obviously now home. Goods. <laughs> <laughs> it was my joke. Anyways, the merch that. shoot. Okay, Cal said I have to work on my humor. The merch shoot went very well. I got all the pics. I did a bunch of stuff when I came home. I'm actually, I've edited this vlog up until right now when you're watching. So that's fantastic. I did that. I got all the merch photos in and edited those and then got those in for the email blast. Answered all my emails and caught up on other work stuff that I just didn't get to this week. And now it's Friday night. I'm so happy because obviously it's the weekend. This whole week has already been a vacation and then to come back on a weekend so fun because now I get to just like chill and do what I want this weekend. But yes, I am about to make some dinner. It's really cold out and I'm cold in the house. I just put the heater on and I'm starting to warm up and I want something cozy and delicious for dinner. So I thought I would just share with you guys what I'm making. I'm gonna end this vlog soon because I know it's been long and I've been talking a lot, but I'm making one of my favorite comfort foods. This is tempura udon that I got at the Korean grocery store. I just got the pre-made ones. Or not pre-made, it's like a semi-pre-made. In here comes a little tempura crunchy guy. There's also a little pack of dried green onions and uh, like usually like chilies and things like that. And then you have your udon noodles which I love udon noodles so much. Truly udon is one of my favorite foods ever because it's just so comforting. And I especially love all the toppings and things that I put on. And then this is the soup base. So you mix this with water, dilute it, you add in the noodles, all the other stuff. And then on top of that, I love cooking poached eggs in my udon or ramen. And then I'm also gonna add on fish cake, which are my favorite. I wish I maybe had like some beef or shrimps or something, but I mean, these are just as good, if not better. I love fish cake. I have the little balls and then I have the uh, very 
standard pink and white one. I have here, these are my favorite mandu right now. That's um, like a Korean dumpling or just like a dumpling. This brand, Oh Food, the kimchi ones, they have like little glass noodles and kimchi inside and it is so delicious. I put these in the air fryer, I get them crispy. And then we've also got all of our panchan on the side, which are little Korean side dishes. I'm keeping it in this bag because it's kind of smelly. You know, all the, the flavors and the fermentation, everything starts to kind of stink up your fridge. It's very common in Korean households to have a whole fridge just for kimchi and just for side dishes. I grew up with one. We don't have one here, but honestly, I might have to get one one day. I'm gonna have it with my favorite, which is the seasoned dried radish. The bag is doing a decent job right now, but when you do open it up, it's like, ooh, the smell wafts through the air. So I try to keep it nice and airtight, but. All right, everything's cooking up in there. I found some frozen shrimp tempura too. I'm just gonna add on my little crunchy bits. And this is dinner. Okay, dinner is ready. I'm gonna eat it out of the pot like my mom did and like she taught me to. We'll do a little mukbang moment. Fish cake. Mm. I'm putting on Vlogmas. Kim Tai uploaded a really long 50 minute vlog this morning, so I cannot wait to watch. I know you guys love Vlogmas. I love Vlogmas too because all my favorite creators upload every day. Noodles. The noodles are fine. I've got the seasoned dried radish and the dumplings here. And if you pair them together, they are so good. Mm-hmm. Okay, dinner was so delicious. Now for dessert, I'm gonna have one of my favorite candies ever. I think these are severely underrated. They are Muddy Bears. Have you tried a Muddy Bear before, Les? No. A chocolate covered gummy bear? What? You wanna come try? I would put this in like my top three favorite candies. I mean, I wish they would sell them more places. I started getting these as a kid when I would go to like candy stores, like a sweet factory where they just have like the bins of candy that you shovel yourself. Always my favorite. Come here, come try one. I also really like chocolate rocks. More for me. More for you. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'll be finishing this bag tonight. Okay, speaking of tonight, Cal and I are gonna watch the most recent episode of Bachelor in Paradise. We're gonna watch a movie. We're gonna relax. We're gonna go to bed. So there's not much more I can add to this vlog other than the small business haul. So if you guys are new to my channel, then you would not know that every vlog missed for the past I wanna say three years maybe? I've done a small business haul every single day. Every year I try to pick brand new businesses, brand new people to share with you guys. You know, amazing small businesses that might not have the funds to be able to be advertised to so many people. So this year I have so many amazing ones that I cannot wait to share with you guys. I place my own personal orders and then as they come in, I'm just gonna share them with you guys. And I'm starting with this one because it seems very fitting for the vlog. I'll open her up over here. This is from Season Journal. Ooh, how cute. Okay, first up, I got cute little dust bags for my purchases. Adorable. I love the little extra touches that you guys always throw in here. I think it's so amazing. Truly some of like my favorite products ever slash things that I use on a daily basis I have purchased during these hauls. Okay, wow, I just have to say the packaging is amazing. Look at this extra little wrapping on here. Wait, babe, come here. I got you something today too. I thought these were so cool. And again, this is so fitting for the vlog that you're watching currently, if you've made it all the way to the end. These are engagement journals. I got you this one. I got a slate one for Cal. And then I got this really pretty like bluish gray one for me. And basically this is a guided keepsake journal for when you are planning your wedding and when you're engaged. And I just thought it was really cool and something that we could, you know, do together or do separately and then look back on one day and show our Very kids. Cute. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. I have to say the quality is so nice. It's like a nice fabric. And then inside, it's broken down between like planning, the wedding, memories, our relationship, mindfulness, conversation prompts, how we met, our first trip, how the proposal happened, skipping forward to like the wedding. Oh, we've got like the officiant, the wedding party. Wait, this is really cool so that we could keep this forever and look back. <gasps> you can write your vows in here. I love this so much. Okay, I'll obviously with all the small businesses, I'm gonna link them down below and if you guys want to purchase them as gifts or, you know, just, just to have. Please support them. They're all amazing small businesses. I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas Day 1. I know this was a very long one. I know it was a jam-packed one, but I hope you guys loved it regardless. I had so much fun, and I will catch you guys tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 2. Love you. Bye.